Landon McCarter with Secure Agent Marketing here. Um, once again, I like to get some common themes and questions that I'm getting lately. And one of the questions that I'm getting when I do my website uh, discovery sessions is, what uh, content should I put on my homepage? Okay, so for some reason, that seems to be a common question that I'm getting often. Um, and I wanted to kind of walk through the purpose of a homepage real quick and just help you understand um, kind of how we look at this and, and how this makes sense. So in 2019, we're in a digital world. If you're not focused on your website in terms of building that as sort of your brand, that is your storefront now. I mean, that is a digital handshake. That's how you're gonna get referred. People are gonna be texting you uh, or your potential referrals um, or texting their potential referrals your homepage to show that you're a professional company and not just a fly by night like random salesperson that decided to pick it up yesterday and want to continue you know want, want to present themselves as an expert and really they aren't i think your website is kind of a litmus test that the market is using more and more and more and more and more so you've got to focus on that not to mention your website is going to be the chassis of your digital marketing strategy what i mean is is all your digital marketing is going to be built upon your website, whether it's your video production, it's going to need a place to live uh, in, a, in addition to YouTube, your lead development, that really should be the main purpose of your website at the end of the day is to capture leads. You also, if you have resources that you're putting together, potential prospects that need to live on your website. So you've really got to have this put together. The insurance industry is behind. Um, insurance carriers and IMOs and all these people are not really telling you how important this is. I'm not sure why, but it just is. It, it, it's, it's a huge part of every other industry for us to think that it's not a huge part of the insurance industry is, is, is silly. So um, what I want to explain is the homepage and the purpose of the homepage. So the first thing I want to explain is, is the term that I like to use is above the fold. Everybody hopefully knows what that means, but that's basically the section of the website that you see whenever you open up on your actual website. So if you're passing up business cards and has your website on it, that above the fold is I go to LandonMcCarter.com or SecureAgentMarketing.com and I go straight to, um, you know, whatever's above the fold. So I feel like that needs to be a brand impression right off the bat. You need to have a strong logo that has put some focus into it, you know, on your top left. Um, you need to have some imagery. I think you should be as an individual producer, marketing yourself, your person, you know, in actual imagery, get some photography done of yourself. If you're a brand in a larger business, it needs to kind of set the tone of your brand um, specifically. Um, I also feel like a big thing that's above the fold that you need to have is not only your logo in the top left, but you need to have like a, a bar across the top or at least a phone number on the top right that's click to call, a mobile click to call, so that someone can go to your website and call you from your website right away. A lot of people don't even have that. And then um, the main thing that I want to focus on is like your what's called your foundational content. So your foundational content, what I mean by that is if you go to Secure Agent Marketing's website, you'll see, you know, we do this, 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 contact us, blog, etc. Okay. So what'll happen is is the imagery is gonna be sort of the initial input, logo on the right, click the call on the top, I'm sorry, logo on the top left, click the call on the top right, they're gonna look at your foundational content and your imagery. Your foundational content is going to be a quick indication of how your business is structured. So meaning like you're going to have the first thing people do when they go to your homepage, they don't scroll down. The first thing they do is they look at your foundational content and they try and figure out what you're about. So if let's just say you focus on three main things. Let's just say you focus on final expense, Medicare and recruiting. You're trying to build a team. Well, the first thing you need to have is probably like our story or something like that or about us or about our brand or about John or about Landon, whatever. And then you need to have final expense, you know, Medicare and recruitment. So people can understand what you're about immediately. Your homepage is really just serves as like a, a front door and a, and a lobby into who you are as a brand and a company and what you do. So if I, if I go look at your final expense section of your website and it's like, got five sentences on it and two logos of two carriers or something and then your medicare is extremely built out and you've got all this content and videos shot on your medicare i'm going to assume that you're more focused on medicare and sell cross sell final expense so you want to make sure that your brand and how you pr promote yourself is sort of representative of the content of your website for sure um, and the the interesting part about that is the first thing people are going to do is they're going to open your website up they're gonna look at your logo, they're gonna look at your brand, they're gonna click the call, they're gonna scroll through your foundational content, then they're gonna scroll down. And what you see below the fold is really just like an overview. Think of it like a 10,000 foot view of who you are as a business. Um, and really those sections of content are small. Um, and those sections of content are really promoting your foundational pages. So basically your, your homepage brand 
is a impactful, who, who am I? As they scroll down, it's different sections. Hey, I've got a video library. Hey, I've got this piece of gated content. Hey, I've got, um, this is my testimonials that are on my Facebook profile that are scrolling through. It's, it's more like a, um, like the front, like if you were to like create a magazine um, of, of your brand, which is really all you're doing online anyways, your website is creating a, a magazine content basically engine. Um, your, your front, your homepage is the front page of the magazine. You see what I'm saying? So you're basically saying, here's who I am. Obviously, you know, uh, I think there's, I haven't picked up a magazine in like a freaking years, but like FHM for him magazine, right? Obviously there's, we know what FHM is about because of the front cover of the magazine, right? It's the same thing with your website. And then you want to open the pages and get into your content. Now, uh, I'm going to do a future video on sort of how to break down those different foundational pages. But the key content on your homepage is give them little morsels or nuggets or an overview video or how can I communicate who I am as a brand um, and execute um, effectively um, at a glance to then push people down my marketing funnels. Because if I'm looking for recruiting, I want to brag about how awesome I am supporting my team and the training regiment that I put them on and the resources and the tools that we equip you with and some potential testimonials from guys that are making a bunch of money with me. Um, I don't recruit, by the way. I'm just saying that as an example. Or if I'm a final expense you know, pr promotion, here's my carriers, here's my content, here's my passion, here's why I love doing what I'm doing, here's some testimonials, whatever, right? So, but your front page is really just meant to just brand impression and then push them into your different uh, foundational content pages, which are built to convert into leads. So that's the key, guys, um, on what kind of content you need on your homepage. It really is more design focused and user focused um, than search engine optimization focused, if you know what I'm saying by that. It's not about the keywords on your homepage. It's not about that. You can have all your keywords on your content, on your foundational pages, and also on your blog posts. And if you want to schedule a call to kind of walk through what your website is structured and how it's structured and why it isn't being found on Google, I'm happy to do that. That's a core competency of what Secure Agent Marketing is built to do, is build you know, lead generating websites along with brand um, identity creation to make sure that you separate yourselves from the pack of run of the mill um, insurance agents that just decided they wanted to start a new career but aren't really going all in in any way. Um, in, my, in my opinion, your first couple thousand dollars of marketing budget after you can get past the lead development, obviously that's probably where you want to put your first few thousand of, of marketing is lead development. But the second you want to start investing in your brand, you hit to that next level of, okay, I've got enough mouths to feed, I want to reinvest into my company, your website needs to very, be the very first thing that you invest in because that's going to be the chassis of all the things that you're doing marketing-wise. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, let me know if we can help you guys with any sort of website consultation or, or conversations. And hope you found some value in this video. Have a great afternoon, guys.